Welcome, Leos. I want to say thank you for being here. This is the Aquarian season. The season is for abundance, prosperity, abundance and prosperity. So the season begins from January 20th until February 18th. I want to say thank you for being here. Remember to subscribe. Let's get into your reading. The frequency and energy of your reading, you're coming in one to move forward. Okay. So we have seven, then we have um, 14, which is a five, then we have 12, which is a three, then we have one. So we have a seven, 14, five, um, seven and five is 11, and a three is 14, okay? Then we have 15. So when we look at this energy, is, um, what we're recognizing is that some of you want to move forward, but you're trying to balance out some sort of an issue and you're recognizing what is going on. And money is going to be um, returning to some of you, okay? Some sort of a money is going to be returning to some of you or financial help is going to be coming in for some of you. So... When we look at these um, energies, because you you're dealing with um, double energies, especially in the second week and the third week, you're dealing with double energies. So we have to recognize what is transpired. So you come in with the chariot. Now, the energy of the chariot is, you know, you Leos are, want to move forward because the energy of the chariot is about you finding your stability moving forward. And it is linked with the energy of cancer. So a lot of you, Leos, in the first week could be dealing with a cancer. However, this is transpiring um, and, 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 and the changes, a whole lot of changes is going to be coming up in the first week. And that first week is the 20th until the 26th. A whole lot of changes, a whole lot of activities that is going to be coming up in the first week going on. It can be a successful passage that you're about to begin. So some of you could have begun a new job and this is going to be very successful because it's going to be helping you out in a very successful way, materialistic. But a lot of you are dealing with a cancer in this week and I see a lot of changes and activity is coming up in this week. So be aware of this, all right? Um, you're moving in a right direction, trying to figure out and balance out a whole lot of things. So there is going to be a lot of activities that is going on, a lot of meeting, a lot of places you have to travel, a whole lot of that situation that could be traveling, um, happening, a whole lot of movement and activity that is going to be helping you guys. So um, recognize where you are and the energy of the cancers that a lot of you Leos could be dealing with. As we look at the second week, we have the energy of temperance. Now, temperance is linked with a Sagittarian. So a lot of you are finding um, balance to deal with a Sagittarian who have created a whole lot of issues around a lot of you. Okay, so when we look at the temperance, it has to do with a Sagittarian and its association with integrity. Okay, um, energies that comes through integrity and some of you is a um, a creative process. Okay. So a lot of you, a Sagittarian could have been, because if you notice, all of these are major arcana. Um, and uh, these major arcana is coming in in order to help some of you, um, Leos to get out of some sort of a um, crappy situation that you have been in for a very long time. Okay. So it, it could have been some of you, um, you know, jobs are coming up in the job market. A lot of you are trying to get out there and get some sort of a job. That sort of a temporary thing that was happening where some of you were blocking. You're going to be moving in this Aquarian season. And you, Leo's an Aquarian, you are opposite sign. So this is really helping um, you, Leo's, because um, this is creating some sort of a movement. No, Sagittarian is the ninth house. So you're dealing with some sort of a um, um, situation that has to do with foreign 
um, abroad, that sort of a situation. So it could be international company if you're working at an international company or some sort of a problem that you have to balance that has to do with another state or another city that is going to be coming up that it could be depleting your financial situation. So you've got to be aware of this. So, so whatever is happening and transpiring, you're recognizing and you're being aware of what is transpiring and you're recognizing all of uh, these issues uh, that is transpiring and the energy of this temperance is coming in in order to bring back balance uh, with a Sagittarius or with some sort of a foreign situation that you're dealing with so you know recognize uh, what is uh, transpiring as you have uh, these huge energies that is transpiring then we have 14 um, 14 is associated with fifth, your fifth house. So a lot of you Leos are going to be having some sort of an issue with people, um, that you're dealing with. So you could borrow or lend money from friends that is going to be coming up because the fifth house is your house and that is really what is going to be coming up. So recognize where you are and recognize what is transpiring. Um, now we have to go back and look at this, the number seven. The number seven house has to do with a scorpion, but a lot of you could be dealing with scorpion and cancers. Now the fourth house so is the house of the cancer. So someone in the family is depleting a lot of you Leos from your financial um, situation and stability. So, you know, kind of figure out what is going on and recognize the situation. And this is why you have to choose one of those symbols in order those symbols is going to be alerting you as how to deal with the situation that is coming up and transpiring. Then as we look at the third week, the third week is from the 3rd of February until the 9th of February. And what we recognize is happening in this week is the energy of the hangman. The energy of the hangman is linked with Neptune. Neptune is a link with the Pisces. Neptune is about... Uh, um the unseen okay um breaking away from whole patterns or a reversal of something that has transpired so let's say um you had a contract and this contract is going to be broken out and it's going to be reversed so recognize when this energy comes up and where it affects you now um the eggman is the 12th house that is the house of karma but you are dealing also with the house of your environment, that people in your environment, your work association, the people you associate with works. And that is absolutely um, affecting your world, especially in the time of uh, the 3rd of February to the 9th of February. So it's, 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 it's about you recognizing how certain things is affecting your world because these are these two weeks the two weeks in the middle 27 until the 2nd of uh, uh, february and the 3rd of february until the 9th of february it's going to be powerful energies that is coming in they are the major arcana and when the eggman is in the reverse it's about neptune it's about illusionary situation it's about some sort of a false contract that was created is going to be broken and it's going to be reversed. So Leos, be aware of this because a lot of you is going to be expecting this in a week of the third going in the night. A lot of you Leos are going to be expecting this. So recognize where you are and how this is basically affecting your world. So you're going to be dealing with people on the work floor in your environment and the 12th house is you are clearing karma with people at the workplace or people in your environment. Okay, because it's, it's, it's the third out of your prospection of how you see things in the world. And um, you're going to be recognizing this. So these major economies comes up for a reason. They came, they came up because they are alerting you, Leos, that you have this, this, this Aquarian period, which Aquarian is your opposite side, is basically helping you out to recognize your place. Okay. Then the last energy, the week of the 10th until the 16th, that is where we end 10 till the 18th. Um, we see the Ace of Pentacles and money is coming back to you, Leos. Now, whenever this transpires, it could be you've been paid out or buyout of your contract um, and money is going to be returning. So 
um this is a season whenever the energy of the pentacles comes up you're um going to be um dealing with the taurus virgo and the capricorn so okay so you're dealing with taurus virgo and capricorn people um now the ace is the 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 self okay the first house is the self and what is happening here is that inner and extern um um wealth could be coming back to you okay so money as i said could be coming back to you okay and this is going to be good if your health was good you're going to be feeling better and some sort of a reward is going to be returning to you so this is absolutely absolutely powerful and there is no question about this because what this is doing is exhilarating you um where money is going to be returning to some of you some sort of a payout is going to be returning to some of you leos some sort of a big payout and this is going to be absolutely good and very good because what this is going to be doing is exhilarating you in some um powerful way moving forward and this money is as if some of you leo could have been waiting for this money to be paid out so um you know aquarian caesar is doing you leos a lot of good and recognize this and use the energy in all order to push yourself and accelerate yourself so look forward to some sort of unexpected money coming back to you in this aquarian season ladies and gentlemen thank you for being here please like and share these videos thumbs up thumbs up uh, to show your love and um please remember in order to see what symbol because you have to choose a symbol that symbol is going to be explaining to you how um to move forward in this aquarian season um recognize which one of the symbol use the blue button that says join and there you can pick up the extended i gotta go show your um love by likes um thumbs up namaste